Hey guys, it's Lizzie. Today I'm going to teach you how to be confident. And the first step to being confident is finding out who you are, discovering what your identity is. And I have a video on my Million Voices 13 channel called what is my identity and so you guys can go check that out it'll open in a new window so the reason that you need to find out who you are so for example for me I know that I am a Christian I am a writer I am a youtuber and because I know what I am I can spend my time doing those things that I love and that makes me a more confident person for example I love God so much and so I spend a lot of time praying to him and reading my Bible, and that makes me more confident. I call it God confident. And then another thing I love to do is to write. And so whenever I write, I like express my emotions, and I like it's a way to kind of it's like an out, a really good outlet for me, and that makes me more confident because like I'm doing what I'm passionate, what I'm really passionate for. And because whenever you like spend time doing something that you love and something that you have a lot of passion for, it gives you more confidence in who you are as a person. And then YouTube, like I cannot explain how much YouTube has like increased my confidence because I've never like spoke this much to this many people and like have all these people tell me that I inspired them and all this stuff and so being like all your comics and stuff they give me a lot of confidence too to um keep making videos and just like as a person like outside of YouTube like IRL confidence from YouTube gives me that once you find out who you are and what your passion is for you need to spend a lot of time doing what you love and putting a lot of time and work and a lot of you into that and then that will make you in turn a more confident person. Another thing that kind of goes into confidence is physical appearance and if you were completely confident in who you are like internally it wouldn't matter how you were on the outside but unfortunately we're a very like materialistic appearance driven culture and so your appearance does factor into how people react to you to, to, and to how people talk to you because everyone is so focused on like how you look. And so if you spend um, more time like grooming yourself, like doing your hair in the morning or doing your, if you wear makeup, like putting some makeup on or like wash, even like thing, little things like washing your face every day and wearing like a little bit of body spray or perfume, stuff like that, that will really like up your confidence because if you look in the mirror before going to school and you smile and you're like, oh hi, I'm so awesome and then you go to school, you're going to be like really confident in who you are. So little things like trying out a new hairstyle or wearing a new outfit or a new skirt that you got, little things like that will up your confidence. Um, dealing with like physical appearance stuff, if you find out what your style is and then you continually wear stuff that is your style instead of just trying to dress like how everyone else is, that will really increase your confidence because you'll realize, wow, people love me when I dress exactly how I want to dress and people love me when I look exactly how I want to look. And, and people love me when I act exactly how I want to act. And so if you really embrace who you are and you dress like her and you look like her and you act like her and you talk like her then or him, then people will love you a lot more. Another thing for me was I've moved around so much. Like I have lived in like five different states and even more houses because my dad's been like constantly moving for his job and stuff. And so on my last move, I was like a little... Um, not very myself and not very confident in my new middle school because middle school girls are like freaking vicious and everyone has like different cliques and stuff and so it's hard like reforming friendships and stuff but I found that like my church youth group like becoming friends with those people it really 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 increased my confidence because like since my identity is like a Christian people there get who I am and they let me be me so if you spend time with people who really love you for who you are like close friends and family members and if you spend a lot of time interacting with them and hanging out with them that will make you more confident because you're like oh my gosh they love who I am I can be who I am with anyone another thing is that as you gradually get older your confidence will increase and I think that a part of it is like maturity and then another part of it is when you grow up you find out who you are and so like people in their 20s they know who they are more than like me or you if you're like in middle school or high school would and so as you grow up, you'll get more confident gradually because you're discovering more of who you are. And when you can be who you are, then you love yourself and then you're more confident and you want to be happy and talk to other people more often and stuff. If you're having trouble being confident because a lot of people hate you or you look different than everyone else or you're a nerd and only the jocks are cool, I have a video on 
how to be popular and in that video I talk about how dumb popularity is and so just realize in those situations that you might not be popular right now at this year in your life but next year everything is going to change and when you get a new job or you get a new go to a new school everything's going to change and so the important thing is not blending and conforming to how people are the important thing is finding out who you are and becoming that person because at the end of the day it's better to be hated for you, who you are than loved for who you're not so if you get made fun of for who you are you need to find a group of people who love what you're doing for example if you love to run then you should join your cross-country team if you love to write you should take a creative writing class or join the school newspaper if you love to dance you should take a dance class and then you'll find people who are exactly like you, who are like-minded, like you, who love the same passions that you are, and they will accept you a whole lot more than the normal people at your school who don't get what you love. And another mini thing that ups my confidence, if I'm like in a new situation or something, right before I go out to wherever I'm going, I look in the mirror and I smile, and I kind of think to myself, you look really good today, Liz, and then I go to wherever I'm going, and then I'm confident. And so little physical appearance things like smiling will make you a lot more confident if you just look at yourself and smile so another mini thing to improve your confidence is to stand up straight and so instead of slouching your shoulders stand up like that and like align your whole like scalp area and then when you walk you'll look more confident and you'll feel more confident so if you smile and you stand up straight you'll feel happier and you'll be more confident like automatically it's intuitive <laughs> thank you so much for watching my video i hope that you guys go out and become more confident people and i love you so much for subscribing to my videos and watching them and making me more confident <laughs> bye